Welcome to the first edition of Meredith's Monday Mailbag. I am Meredith, but I'm pretty sure you already figured that out. Let's not waste any time. Let's get to the mail. I was going to hire a mailman to come in and deliver these to me, but it's not budget. A lot of great questions. Want to thank everyone that reached out, whether it was Twitter, email, Instagram, Insta Stories. Hopefully I can get to a good amount, but I must warn you, I don't know if you've heard, Garrett Cole is throwing in his first spring training game today, so I have to get to the field, but we will take about five to 10 minutes of your questions. We'll start this one off with Johnny12367. What happens to Clint Frazier? Interesting question. He's certainly vying for a spot on the roster right now, but Clint had a really mature approach this spring saying, I know my defense needs to get better to be on this major league roster. That's been a big focus of his in the offseason. It'll continue to be a focus of his this spring, but he does have a shot at making the team right now with Aaron Hicks out. It looks like Mike Talkman is 100% healthy. Expect he'll be on the roster, but Clint Frazier, without a doubt, a guy to keep an eye on. If there is not a spot on the roster, he does still have options so he could find himself in the minor leagues, but Frazier certainly doesn't want that to be his reality. Jay Bonco 81 says, is there any news on Luis Severino? Well, Luis Severino flew to New York. He'll be there over the next three days. Aaron Boone and Brian Cashman both reiterating he's going to undergo a variety of tests and the Yankees are hoping to get some more answers. He will see a couple of specialists. Right now, it's still a question mark when it comes to Severino. He was asked in the clubhouse before he left for New York where exactly the pain is. And he said it's more up here on his forearm. It's not down by the elbow. So that perhaps is one thing that's encouraging. Also, something Severino said that leaves him a little bit encouraged while frustrating. It doesn't happen all the time. It's not constant pain. So they wonder if there's a nerve or something like that involved. Hopefully the Yankees will have some more answers over the next couple of days. But he is expected to be such a big part in that rotation. Everyone collectively around Yankees land pretty much holding their breath and crossing their fingers that it's good news when Severino gets those results back. Alley Girl 9793. Will Garrett Cole be the opening day starter? I think that's a pretty safe bet, although not official. It looks as though that will be the case. And you don't go out there and get that type of free agent pitcher unless you intend on having him be the ace of your staff and that guy that starts things off. So I would be extremely surprised if for some reason Garrett Cole isn't the opening day starter. Uh, the only reason that would happen in my mind would be some unforeseen circumstances, which the Yankees do not want to be the case. Sports dudes want to know from Twitter, is there ever a time when you have to pay for your dry cleaning for your wardrobe after a Gatorade celebration? Yes, almost every time. I think the Yes Network would pay for it. However, for anyone that follows me on Instagram, you know sending in expenses are not exactly uh, my strong suit. So I probably have lost out a little bit over the years on some dry cleaning money, but you know, if I'm getting hit with Gatorade or I'm getting drenched with champagne in the clubhouse, that means good things are happening. Yankees fans want that. Is it great going home soaking wet sometimes with Gatorade all over you? Not ideal, but it's fun. It's fun for all parties involved. And I think the worst postseason when they advance to the next rounds and I get crushed with beer and champagne and all that stuff. I mean, people would pay a lot of money to be in on that situation. And it is fun. And obviously I get to do all the interviews with the guys who are extremely excited. But one player came up to me last year and said, you know, we wouldn't do this if we didn't like you. So uh, I'll wear it like a badge of honor. And a lot of times postseason, I will change and I'll always have a change of clothes with me, but I'll change into something that maybe isn't the best. So if it gets ruined, it gets ruined. And a lot of times I wind up just throwing that stuff away because I can't always rinse it out right away if we're traveling to a new city. Uh, but enough about my wardrobe. I'm taken care of. Don't worry about it. But thanks for asking. Lou Stool 420 wants to know, where does Miguel and Duhar fit in with this team? Well, he has... Such a great bat. You saw him hit his first spring training home run yesterday, and that had to feel good for him. It seems as though Miguel and Duhar, everything he said, the way he has looked, appears to be 100% healthy. Now, Duhar Urshela came on the scene yesterday, and really yesterday, 
last year and really opened up some eyes. Third base right now is his to lose, but I do believe there's a way that Andujar could stick on this roster and the Yankees can get his bat in the lineup. He's been taking some ground balls at first base. He's been working with Tino Martinez over there. He's also been out in left field doing some outfield work. He said it's getting a little bit more comfortable every day. So that's a way also that DH position. So the Yankees, if Andujar is healthy, they want that bat in the lineup. They're going to try to find a way to rotate him around to make sure that he is a part of it. But it's going to be a transition for Andujar. He's never played first. He's never played the outfield. He has DH'd a little bit, uh, but it'll take some uh, adjusting for him. But he's been very candid in saying anything the team needs me to do, I want to be a part of this roster. So that is something to keep an eye on. Maria Cecilia wants to know. Now we're, we're going over to the other side. First base, Ford or Voigt? Same like with Gio Urshela. I believe the same with Voigt. If he is healthy, which he appears to be healthy, he said he feels good uh, after having that surgery in the offseason. It is his job to lose. I believe he will be the everyday first baseman. But I do believe that there is a chance that Ford could break with the team and be on the roster. He showed last year that he is certainly capable offensively. He was serviceable at first base. He is somebody that the Yankees could decide they want another option off the bench, another bat off the bench. The only problem with Ford is he can really only play the role of first baseman, possibly DH. He's not as versatile as some of the other guys. So that could perhaps play uh, in someone else's favor. But uh, Mike Ford will definitely get a look this spring. This one's coming from Instagram. Leo F. Dot, will Aaron Judge fight Altuve in, an, in the octagon? Really, dude? I would say there's probably a better chance of you fighting Chris Harrison in the octagon. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for the question. I know you're a huge Yankees fan. This one's coming from Instagram Music Playa 43. Will prospect Davey Garcia have a real shot of making his major league debut this season? I think so. If I were a betting woman, which I'm not a betting woman, I'm the weirdo that goes to Vegas and doesn't even play like a penny slot. But if I were a betting woman, I would say at some point in time, you will see Davey Garcia. I would be extremely surprised if you saw him with the big league club coming out of spring training. I think the Yankees organization as a whole thinks he has a little more finishing off to do, a little more seasoning uh, in AAA. And you saw when he came up last year, he did struggle a little bit. Some people within the organization think that it could have been a little fatigue, throwing a lot of innings. It could have just been getting to the next level and having hitters adjust on him. But they still believe he is going to be a successful major league player. He is very young. There is a ton of potential there. He's a guy that's been invited to big league camp. So we've been watching him over the last couple of days. I don't think it's going to happen the end of March and April. But I do think at some point in time, you will see Davey Garcia in the Bronx. Oh, this one's more of an observation from P. Lloyd Jr. off of a picture of me standing and interviewing Aaron Judge. Wow, that's one of the people that you seem short next to. I get it. We're both tall. It's true. Yes. I have heard over the years, how's the weather up there? I'm tall. Very tall. Um, let's see here. It's another one who's going to play third. We already answered that. Oh, okay. Rocket PE Bird 18. Which pitcher are you most looking forward to interviewing? This is a toss up, but based on the current climate, I would say Luis Severino because I want to know what is going on with his injury. So I'll put Severino first, just from a news perspective, but also I'm really looking forward to talking with Garrett Colmore, just seeing how his mind works. You can tell every pitch he throws, even if it's just in a bullpen session, is meaningful. There is something behind it. He is so dialed in. Uh, I know my colleague Jack Curry is hoping to sit down with Cole and David Cohn. That's going to be must-see TV, but I too, I'm looking forward to hearing what Garrett Cole has to say after starts. 
NYY Highlights wants to know, is the game with Garrett Cole making his spring debut, ugh, debut televised tonight? Unfortunately, it's not. I wish it were too. I feel ya. Oh, my nose itches, sorry. Allergies. Whew. Okay, we're back. AB Boy 01. Can I get onto the Yankees field for batting practice today for free? If you can, it will not be courtesy of me because not only do I not have that pull, I am not a miracle worker, but I really hope you find a way to find yourself on the track for batting practice. Jeff Gilmore wants to know, were you at Frenchie's on the beach last night? Jeff, are you following my every move? Should I be scared? No, I actually was at the Sand Pearl because it was a little chilly when the sun started to go down, so I sat by the fire pits like a lady. It's quite lovely over there. I did not write who <laughs> wrote this one, and as you can see, my handwriting is like chicken scratch, so let's just get to the question. Expectations for Jordan Montgomery this year. Well, with the injuries now, I think Jordan Montgomery is going to be in that rotation to start the year. I'm really curious to see how they manage his innings because I can't imagine they're going to let him go out there and throw a full, full season. You might see him skip a start here or there. That's for the Yankees to work out. But right now, Jordan Montgomery is healthy. I spoke to him a couple of days ago, and he was so impressed with the way the ball's been coming out of his hand. He said his fastball is better than it's been in a long time. He got a couple miles an hour on that. And also, he has a good feel so far for his breaking pitches. He changed the way that he went about training this offseason, and he thinks so far that is paying high dividends. We'll get into that. That a little bit on an upcoming Yes Network broadcast. So don't forget, make sure you tune into Yes Network for the latest news on the Yankees. We will have 10 more spring training games this year. Uh, you can go on the Yankees website and look at the schedule to find out which games we're doing. Oh, Anthony, this is a good one. Should Susan Waldman be in the Hall of Fame? And I will say this, not because I am good friends with Susan Waldman, but because she is a pioneer in the business and anybody who does not acknowledge that, uh, that's just terrible. Yes, emphatically, yes, she should be in the Hall of Fame. Ooh, two left, two left. Let's do this one. Uh, JJ wants to know, will Gardner start in center field until Aaron Hicks gets back from that injury? Yes, I think you are going to see a lot of Gardner in center field, but I also think you could see some Mike Talkman in center field. They really like his defensive ability at any of the spots in the outfield, and I think it's really going to depend on what's going on around him. Is Aaron Judge healthy? Is John Carlos Stanton healthy? Who's healthy? Who's available to play the field? And then also where they are playing could factor into it some of the fields with a little bit of a bigger outfield, you could see the Yankees position different people, uh, whether it be in left field or center field, but I think it'll be mostly Gardner, and then you could see some Talkman kind of sprinkled in there as well. Yankee pinstripes for the final question today, favorite restaurant in NYC. Guys, I don't get out that much, so I don't know that I have a favorite restaurant. Open to suggestions, please like, comment. If you have a restaurant I need to try in New York City, I am making it my business this year to try to go out more in the city, whether it be for lunch or after a day game for dinner. I just don't get out enough because I work until like midnight every night. So I leave at 1.30, 2 o'clock and then I get back at midnight and most of the restaurants are closed by then. Uh, don't feel bad for me. I have a pretty cool job. I am not complaining. I will say, though, I go to um, Avra a lot. It's Mediterranean, a lot of great seafood. A little pricey at times, but quite good. And then a friend of mine owns a restaurant on the Upper East Side, Sandro's, that I tend to go to quite often. So if you're in New York City and you want to check those out, they have my double thumbs up, five-star recommendation. Uh, other than that, I don't, I don't go out much. I, I eat at the ballpark. <laughs> it's 
kind of sad if you think about it. But anyway, uh, all right, that does it for the questions. There were so many more that I could not get to, but I want to thank you all for reaching out. We're going to do this again next Monday, unless I get terrible, terrible comments, in which case, maybe we won't do it next Monday. Some programming notes. Yes Network is back on the air on the 26th. We'll have that game the 26th, I believe, the 27th and the 29th. I will be on all of those broadcasts. Also continue to check Yes Network Digitals. We're always doing some fun stuff there. And for now, I'm gonna get going because I have to go to the ballpark. It is time to go watch Garrett Cole. See you next time.